Someone is burning with desire. Someone is burning with desire. And this is what God says about that. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a word for someone. And this word is coming to us from the book of Luke, chapter 19, from verse 1 to verse 10. And it tells us the story of Zacchaeus. And the Bible says Zacchaeus was a, a, a chief tax collector and he was rich and he had a desire to see Jesus. And God sent me here to tell someone there is a secret through which you can accomplish everything. There is a secret through which you can access all that you've been wanting God to grant to you. Through which you can get all that you need. There is something that works better than, than, than prayers, something that works better than fasting, something that breaks protocol for your sake is called desire. It's called desire. God says when you, if you can desire, if you can only desire, and then you make steps towards it. The Bible says Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus so bad. And because he was short, he was short in stature. He was short in height. He couldn't see Jesus. So he decided, he made a way, he took action steps towards it and, and towards what he desired. And he went ahead of Jesus on a path, on the way that Jesus was going to pass through and climbed on a sycamore tree only so he can see Jesus. And when Jesus got there, he looks up to him and said, come down for today. I will spend, I will dwell in your house. And the Bible says people began to murmur and were angry. Like, why is Jesus spending time with the tax collector, with the sinners? Little did they know the sinner had a principle. Little did they know the sinner caught a secret on how to get Jesus into his house. It was called desire. He had a strong desire and not only did he desire, he took actions towards his desire. He didn't feel bad at the, the what, what we do most of the time, the mistake we make most of the time is that he might have had desire to see Jesus, but now because he is shot, he might have just been feeling miserable and frustrated because he can't be able to see Jesus because he's shot. But let your desire make a way for you to add action, to back up that desire with action. Let your emotions be, be in line with your desire. Let your actions be in line with your desire. When you desire it, it's not enough that you have it in your heart. Most of us have desires, but what we feel is frustration and anger because the desires have not been manifested yet. The desires have not been fulfilled yet. So you 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 desire to get to get married, but because you are single and because you've been trusting God for some time and desiring this, you, you now you are feeling more frustrated and angry at the fact that you are still single. So you are feeling you you have the desire, but your emotions are contrary to your desire. And so your actions, you you have the desire, but your actions are not helping your desire. Your actions are not propelling you towards your desire. That is a wrong step because when you desire, you've got to build on that desire. You've got to build your emotions around that desire. You've got to see it. You've got to see it. The Bible says this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night. So when you, when you desire healing, you've got to go to the scriptures and see what God says about healing. And then as you see it, you meditate on it. To meditate means you ponder about it continuously. You ponder on it continuously and then you say it it says it should not depart from your mouth so you say it so you you meditate on it and then you see you look for scriptures that talk about it and then you see that he said by his stripes you were healed no you are going to be healed you were healed and he says he took with you with him to the cross all our iniquities and our diseases so you begin to as you as you are pondering on it you are saying it to yourself say he says say, by his stripes i was already healed i walk in divine health. Oh, he took with him to the cross my diseases and my iniquities. So I have no, so illness has no place in my life. So you begin to say it and you begin to think about it or you begin to, until you get to the point where you begin to feel it. You begin to feel how you are going to feel when God takes that pain away. You begin to do the things, you begin to dare the things you are going to do when God takes that pain away. You begin to step out in faith. So your step, your action of faith is backed by your desire, not backed by your circumstances. So 
you don't go in. Yes, you are still in pain. Yes, you are you are still single, but you don't spend time and 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 you are angry. You you are not angry with those who are getting married because you are single. You are not angry with relationship or you are not frustrated and just angry and bitter because you are still single. No, you are feeling the way you are going to feel when you become a wife. You are feeling the way you are. You are you, as a matter of fact, you look at yourself like a wife. You change your wardrobe to fit that of a wife. You change your schedule to have time like a wife. You begin to adjust your life. You don't do what, what loose women are doing. Sorry if I'm using what or what single women are doing. You begin to align your life to, to be in line with that of a wife. So you, you, you begin to feel the emotions. You don't feel frustrated because you are single. No, you begin to feel as happy as you would feel when you are married. And that is all attracting. That is all causing God. Nothing builds your faith like desire if you can only build on it. And God says, this is what you need. And this is what that testimony needs. This is what that miracle needs. You need to build on your desire. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 3 of a man at the beautiful gate. This man was born crippled. And every day this man would be carried to that gate to beg for money. And I believe this man truly desired healing. But it's just that the, he had come to a point where he settled it in his heart that he's never going to get the healing. So he would only beg for money. He is looking for just for ends means and guess what as long as his desire was just for money jesus entered into that gate every day oh i shared this this was a live session today and i decided to make a video out of it because most people don't don't are not a part of the live session i don't know why but most people are not a part of the live sessions jesus entered that temple for three and a half years daily but never healed this man. His desire was not strong enough. But one day, his desire was strong enough. And the Bible says he asked Peter and John for arms. And the Bible says Peter turns, looks at him and says, look at us. And the man looked at us expecting to receive something, not expecting to receive money. Expecting, ex expecting to receive something. That day his desire was beyond just money. That day his desire was, and, and God told me when you desire the next thing, your desire builds your expectation. Your desire builds your expectations. Some of us desire to get married, but because we have had failed relationship in time past, our expectations unconsciously are for that relationship to fail. So that when someone comes your way and says, I like you, you are automatically expecting that they are going to break your heart. So sometimes you start treating them as though they already broke your heart because you are, you are being defensive. You are defending your heart. You are trying to protect your heart. So you instead hurt them and you send them away. This man looked up to them expecting to receive something. And the Bible says, Peter looks at him and says, silver and gold I have not. But that which I have, I give to you in the name of Jesus. Rise up and walk. And this man begins to walk. And what makes me realize that this man desired to walk and not just arms. And that that day his expectations were beyond just desire for arms. Is the fact that the man got up, was leaping and jumping and entering into the temple. He never remembered to carry his plate or his dish that he was using to beg for arms with him he never remembered to he never decided to stay there one more second to beg for arms it means all along he has been desiring to enter the temple all along he has been desiring to 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 be healed to walk again but his expect his desire had not been strong enough that it that it mounted up to an expectation that it built up to fed in him to an ex to be such that it became an expectation his desire just remained a desire and most likely he was frustrated frustrated at the fact that he couldn't walk at the fact that he couldn't so he just decided like well this is my fate but just one day that his desire was strong enough to build an expectation for something more than just money he received his miracle what are you desiring from god today he says he's here to grant that desire of your heart if only you take a step of faith uh, and do something crazy in line with that desire. If only you channel your emotions to feel exactly how you feel when that desire is fulfilled. God will grant it to you. God bless you. Shalom.